his scent on their journey. Pirogue took a slight stumble out the gate. He lost a length and a half, and Caribbean Day is at the back of the field early on. Secret warnings right there in the early stages. Catkin, New Hampshire's not too far off the speed. I can tell you, Run Rhino Run is only three and a half to four lengths off them. New Hampshire's going to slice through on the outside. Ole Gunner's also moving a length closer. They're jostling for early position at the 1200 peg. And Ole Gunner's let rip around runners. He's going to move up to take on Secret Warning. They're going to have a speed duel up front. Then we drop back to Catkin, five lengths off them. Purple Mountains is six lengths off the leader, Pirogue Marchand, in the back seat is Caribbean Day. Stretching away in front, secret warning. Ole Gunner, the rider's now taken a bit of a hold of him, took him back into that second position as they go past the eight peg. Jama's racing away in third at the rail. Jama's only two and a half lengths off the leader. Black body and red cap of New Hampshire. Run, Rhino, run, sits quietly towards the inside rail. He's got New Hampshire to escort him around the turn as they homeward bound. Catkin, Pirogue, further back, Marchand. Top of the lane, 500 metres to go. Secret warning skips along by two. Jama comes out for his run and then Ole Gunner. Towards the outside, New Hampshire. Run, Rhino runs, trying to progress on the inside. Pirogue's looking for a way through. Marchand goes through down the inside. And Caribbean Day is also trying to have a crack at the leaders. But it seems like the action's on the outside. Secret warning still in front. Catkin's running late. Caribbean Day on the inside. Catkin comes flying and run, Rhino run. Run, Rhino run, Ole Gunner. Catkin, here comes the line. Oh, it's mighty close. Ole Gunner may be in a photo with Run Rhino Run, but it's very, very close. Catkin, Caribbean Day, Run Rhino Run and Ole Gunner. The angle's with Ole Gunner, but let's just wait because Run Rhino Run's running his heart out. Well, this is quite difficult to split from up here. It was looking like Run Rhino Run's going to get his head down, but Ole Gunner comes right back on the outside. Let's see, Run Rhino Run, Ole Gunner's going to dive through, and perhaps Ole Gunner gets his nose down on the line. Yep, Ole Gunner's won it. Ole Gunner, from in second, Run Rhino Run. Catkins only a neck away in third. Caribbean Day and Pirogue, a length separating the first five. Secret warning, Jama. And then came Purple Mountains. Three hundred meters to go. Run, run, a run. He's towards the outside. Ole Gunner three off the right hand side. But inside the last two hundred meters, Run, run, a run looks to get to them. And Ole Gunner's running his heart out towards the outside. And Ole Gunner he'll pick it up close home. Run, run, a run. A cracking run down the centre. They go across the entire circuit, but Ole Gunner will put his nose down. Back to the studio. Just seen uh, the running of race number six. It's gone the way of number four, Ole Gunner. This is a four-year-old son of Second Empire. Uh, Paul Lafferty uh, really going through a purple patch. Uh, all his horses have been competitive and uh, really run well today. Uh, Laffy must be over the moon with another win. Yeah, uh, coming back from the Gelding, I think the Gelding did the trick with him and uh, I probably delayed it too long. But uh, he come back run was a very good run and I thought second run of the layoff today, I thought he'd be, he'd be there and thereabouts, but uh, it was a superb ride by the, by the rider when you consider he realised there was no pace, he opted him up and got him to settle again and then got him to come back and, and win. So well done to all my mates who own it and uh, I'm very pleased for all of them. I'm very pleased for uh, Kurs, Kurs bred the saucer, actually his son Partick bred it and uh, I'm, I'm chuffed for them, but uh, great to have another winner. Yeah, Lef, uh, you always thought this uh, horse had a bit of ability. I remember at the beginning of its career. It obviously went uh, through a bit of a rough patch. You gulded it, and it looks like it's going to go on from you. Absolutely. So let's hope it keeps going. But he's won three now, and he wasn't an expensive horse, but uh, he's a lovely horse. Lovely stuff, top stuff. Thank you. Thanks very much. Let's get uh, Keegan in quickly. Keegs, uh, everyone echoing uh, my sentiments. That was a top ride. Realised the pace uh, wasn't really there. You committed, held it up, and then it came back. Yeah, um, I must say a big thank you to Mr. Laffey. He gave me the um, right of rain to do um, what I thought was best. And yeah, I jumped out and he didn't jump out quite well and um, he didn't take the bridle. So I thought I'd just slot him in and, and they were going way too slow. So I just stayed out wide and let him creep up slowly. And when he got there, he pricked his ears and he, 
and you're quick and well to win. Yeah, seems to uh, be coming on along the right way after the gelding. Yes, after the gelding, he's, um, he's been beautiful, I must say. I never used to be able to cap canter this horse down, and since he's been gelded, he's, he's relaxed. And I, I'm just really grateful to be awarded him. Lovely stuff, top stuff today. Thank you very much. I must say a big thank you to, to Mr. Leff, um, Mr. Giorgio, Mr. Larson, and all the other partners. Well done. And yeah, been a good day so far, so just thank goodness for that. Great stuff, Keeks. Keep it up. Thank you very much. And a big thank you to Mr. Leff and Mr. Burns as well. Great stuff. We've got a whole host of owners. Congratulations to them. I'm going to chat to, to full first. Uh, come back the right way after the Golden. Yes, no, we always thought that he was a better horse than what he was showing us. And eventually, um, Clint wanted to geld him longer before we actually did. And now we've done it. Maybe he's going to show us what we think of him. Yeah, definitely more to come. I overheard you saying there possibly some more ground. Yeah, you know, the, the horse is bred to go for more ground. And uh, Keegan was reluctant to... to admit that he needs more ground, but now he seems to think that maybe it's the right thing. All right, well, you never know with these animals. <laughs> never know. All right, uh, and then, uh, Mr. Stain, uh, how did that feel? <laughs> no, it's great. It's really great. It's a special moment. Every win is a special moment, and doesn't matter if it's a big horse, little horse, special, and this is a special one for us. So. Oh, sure, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be more to come with an effort like that. It's uh, put in two uh, decent efforts in uh, decent uh, races. Very much so, and uh, before he was gelded, he had a few good races and then went off. We've done the right thing, and just thanks to Leff and Davy Burns and all the staff back home, Fuzzy, and also Keegan for a great ride. Well, you've got your mates here. Go enjoy the win. Super. Thanks a lot. Eh? Lovely stuff. Thank you very much. Eh? That was uh, race number six gone uh, the way of number four, Ole Gunner, from the Paul Lafferty stable ridden to victory by Keegan DeMello. They really uh, both are uh, having a, a golden day. That was race six. We'll see you back. Race seven. 